Thank you, Mr. Sriram, Dr. Rajit Patel, Mr. Mishra, Ms. Amita Talwar, Karan Talwar, bank directors, managers, distingu distinguished guests, guests, and friends. It is commonplace for a speaker invited to deliver a memorial lecture to open with the remark that he is deeply honored by the opportunity offered. In the present case, while true, this would amount to no more than stating the obvious. For R.K. Talwar was the rarest of rare officers that India has ever produced. So spotless had been his personal and professional life that even an all-powerful emergency era government determined to remove him from his office for refusing to do its unjust bidding could not muster enough courage to do so. As distinguished banker Narayanan Vagul tells us in his inspiring profile of professional courage of Talwar, even after a CBI inquiry and a legislative amendment later, the then government could only bring itself to asking Talwar to take a leave of absence for the last 13 months of his tenure. Of course, accomplishments of Talwar went far beyond a life of honesty, integrity, and courage. He was one of the most eminent bankers of India. He received accolades as a manager, friend, leader, guru, and now lion of the banking industry from nearly all those who were lucky enough to get a chance to work with him. So I can say without exaggeration that today we honor an extraordinary individual and that I could not be prouder to be invited to deliver the sixth RK Memorial Lecture. I must confess at the outset that in choosing the subject of today's lecture, I am guilty of breaking the tradition set by my predecessors. Unlike me, every one of the previous five speakers has chosen to speak on one, of the, on one or the other aspect of banking in their lectures. The main reason why I, have why I have decided to charter a different course is that I can tell you nothing on banking that you do not already know. As a trade economist, I have deep appreciation for the principle of comparative advantage and I try not to just teach, but also practice it. So let me begin by introducing the subject of the lecture today, 